Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I will be doing a complete deboss guide and hopefully this isn't too long a video. I don't think it will be. Uh, as you can see I'm recording it on Monday. This probably will not be released until well tomorrow so I have a new schedule I'm going to be planning out for videos so hopefully that goes well. But anyway as you can see we're in deboss here. I have hide players on. We'll get into that later on. But as you can see, there's people there. Just have it so not as distracting. Anyway, we're going to start off with some useful commands. So to get to the boss, you're going to do slash deboss, press enter, and then click on the deboss arena. So it's just in stone. So click there, you'll be teleported to there. And then some other commands that you need to know are slash deboss craft. Brings up the crafting menu. You can't really see it here because of my uh, texture pack. We have slash deboss armor, and then we have slash deboss reroll, and we'll get on into all these stuff, all this stuff later on. I'm just going to show you for now, and then slash deboss deconstruct, and we'll get into this later as well. Next, we're going to go over summoning eyes. So, uh, if you go around here. You'll see, I'm going to turn head players on or off now so they can actually see players because I don't like kill stealing. Uh, but I'm going to run around and look for shadow summoners. It'll say above their head their health and stuff like that. And then like over here, they're just innermen. They can attack back and people love to skill, kill steal. But as you can see at the top of the screen, it says guaranteed summoning eye, 6 out of 35. Once you reach 35, you will get, automatically get a summoning eye. Uh, you'll only get one. And uh, let me just run back to the corner so I'm not interrupted. Uh, this'll do. Anyway, so that's one way you can get summoning eyes. You can get uh, summoning eyes. Uh, oops from the inships that's another way you can get them uh, i think you can i think that's really the only way they're untradeable you cannot buy or sell them you can't drop them uh, only thing you can do with them is place them in the center over there to help spawn dragons in now uh wearing armor will help you survive here because they do like to attack and they hit pretty hard so yeah wearing armor is good uh, I'm wearing netherite because I don't have any, uh, well, I do, but I'm not going to wear it right now. Uh, some dragon boss armor, we'll get into that later on in the video as well. So, you can kill it with your sword, with your fist, we'll get into how you kill it with your fist. If you don't have any, the correct pet, do not kill it with your fist, you'll take ages. Um, so, the pets you're going to want to use for killing, so we'll go to slash pets pet list and it's going to be the shulker pet so it's a chance to instantly kill a summoner it goes up to level five uh, i'm only at level four right now so if i uh click um, uh presets Oop, well we just deleted that anyway well, well we'll go into that in a second so if we do slash pets owned pets uh, nothing's in our cage, so we're going to use the cat pet, the summoner pet, and the shulker pet. We run around with the, our sword to try to demonstrate what the shulker pet does, and hope that we can at least show it in a reasonable amount of time if any summoners decide to spawn. I do have my sound on because it's quite annoying. Their screen. Yeah, as you can see there, I one hit it. So that's what the uh, the shulker pet does, and as you can see, we have a dragon spawning. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and show you. So you're just gonna use your bow. Do not use your sword. Um, but yeah, just aim for it, and it should hit. I'll go over the damage and stuff later on in the video. Nothing too crazy. And I'll also go into some enchants that you're going to need to know. Another vote party. Let's go. Um, so some enchants will be later on in this video. Some armor that you might want. Some pets. 
Um, and then some useful com commands and stuff. So, not doing great. Oh, we got six fragments. But let me go back to over here and hide from players. Actually, there, there's a summoning spot over here, so we'll get a little loud. So if we go back over here, we will go over the, what I have planned. Uh, so, here. So you're going to kill with your sword, as I just demonstrated. Uh, use a summoner pet to get a higher chance of getting a summoner, summoning eye. I don't remember what the max, well, I know the max level is either 5 or 3. I could check, but I don't. Uh, want to check right now. Anyway, you can also use defensive armor for a better chance of getting one. So if you do slash D boss defensive, it has a plus one percent chance to uh, drop a summoning eye for the set. That goes up by tier. There's five tiers. It goes up to five percent, which is pretty decent. And then we also have uh, I went over there not sellable or tradable. And then you place eyes in the center. I'll show you this now. Uh, place four to six for the best chances. So you see, take 16 to spawn in. So place four to six. If you place more than that, you won't get any extra benefits or drops. And you must do at least a little bit of damage to get the rewards of placing. And now we'll go over the dragon damage and types. So there are a few types, do slash deboss armor, just to show. We have explosive, colossal, experienced, hasty, aquatic, uh, defensive, ancient, and champion. So those are the main types, well, that's all the types. Uh, these two are pretty rare. Aqua is very common, defensive is not too common. Hasty and experienced are both a little more common. Explosive is quite common and colossal is common as well. We recently increased the damage to the dragons because it was bugged and it took like 10 seconds to kill a dragon, which is not supposed to, but that was our fix to that. And then we also, so it had to do with damage for the bow. But anyway, what you'll want to do for damaging the dragon, use your bow as I just demonstrated. And uh, you'll want to have a few enchants. I'll also go for sword enchants if you want that to use that too, but I don't recommend that. You'll be fine without. Uh, so for the bow, you're going to want a at least a regular bow. I have a power 6 bow. It's, I don't know the like how much it actually changes about the damage. I haven't tested that. Uh, maybe I'll do that in a bit, but not today. But you're going to want flame, infinity, power, and a breaking, which this bow comes with. I haven't changed it with anything else. You're also going to want Dragon Hunter 5. And if you want Bounty 3, Bounty 3 is always good. I don't have that on because i just been putting it off forever. And I just have mine protected so it won't break if I put any other enchants on. It's just a good safety measure. And for the sword, you're going to want Dragon Slayer 5. Once again, I don't recommend using a sword. It's not that useful. It doesn't deal near as much damage as the bow, but it's there if you want to use it. And then just another red armor or defensive armor, which we'll get into later. Um, some pets, if you are... I don't know exactly know if they're working. But for the bow, we have the skeleton pet, which increases bow damage. I've seen people say it doesn't work, but yeah, I don't know. Haven't tested it. And then for, oh yeah, we also have the wither pet, which we'll get into. Um, uh, we also have the iron golem pet, that's what it's called. <laughs> Mine is blanking for a second. But that just gives strength and resistance. Actually, does it give resistance? I think it gives resistance. So those are the pets you're going to want to use if they work. The Iron Golem pet works, I know that. I just don't use it. You can use it on summoners. It's not a bad idea, uh, especially the resistance. But I don't. I prefer the speed, and you'll, you'll be fine if you have s some armor at all. So 
I think that's all for the damage and types of dragons and stuff like that. We'll go over the rewards. As you can see, I got six uh, fragments from the dragon from killing it. There, you can also get boss pouches, which look like this. Uh, before. So we got mythical, legendary, epic, and common. They aren't, well, common and epic aren't great. Legendary and mythical are decent. The best things you can get from those are, uh, I'm pretty sure, grinder keys. Uh, pretty useful. Uh, nothing too crazy about them, though. And then you can get up to 25 frags per dragon. So that is with placing some eyes, I think at least two, two or three, can't remember which, but two or three with your end, uh, end stone mastery on. So if we do slash masteries, click on mining and look at end stone. So we'll go over the end stone mastery here. So end stone minion is tier one, tier two, not useful for it, tier three, not too useful for it either. Um, so at tier 5, we can increase max amount of frags obtained by 5, which is useful. Brings the max up to 20. Take 20% less damage in D-Boss Arena. Tier 6, also useful. Increase chances of summoning eye drop by 5%. Tier 7, that's quite useful. And increase max amount of fragments obtained by 10, which brings it up to 25. So at least place 2 or 3 if you can. And place a max of 6. Other than that, you'll be wasting eyes and not getting the max, or getting an extra amount of drops. Uh, so yeah, just place four to six, and you'll be fine. Now, for drags or frags, you can also use the weather pet, which is introduced this season. Uh, it has a chance to double the amount of drops that the dragon gives you. It's a good low chance, but if you get it on a good dragon and you do well you have the potential to get up to 50 frags, which is kind of insane. Especially <laughs> when you didn't have this option last season and it took a while to get some armor. So, I think that's it for the rewards. For the boss pouches, just right-click them on the ground, and then you can get the rewards from there. You can skip the animation if you want. I always do. It's just a bit of a waste of time. And then we will go over the armor. We'll leave the boss dome <laughs> home. Um, so there's that. And then for the armor, we'll go over all of the armors now. So if you use last D-boss armor, we start going left to right. So explosive, all these have five tiers, by the way. And with that, their uh, abilities increase in chance as the tier gets higher and higher. So Explosive has, so, well, I guess I should say this first, too. There are two different things, tier, or not tiers, two different uh, bonuses. We have Peace Benefit and Set Bonus. The Set Bonus only works when you have the full set equipped. And let's say you have a mixed set like Art tier 2 and part tier 3, you only get the tier 2 benefits. So with that, we'll go on to what they do. So explosive, this is mainly for mining. Uh, it has a chance to double your drops and a chance to mine ores around you in a 3 block radius. This is really good for Marley's generator that he designed I think in season 3 or 4. <clears throat> if you don't know what it is, just like look up I'm Marley penguin.gg or generator or something like that and you'll be able to find it and as I said if I click on this you can see this you can also click on the armor to see how it's crafted uh, like this and I'll demonstrate crafting in a few minutes but as you can see there's five different tiers and as you can see they uh, have different chances next is colossal this is mainly for farming it has a chance to uh, increase the farm enchant proc and the one farm fortune for different uh, crops. So <laughs> for tier one, it's uh, melons and pumpkins. Tier two adds nether wart. Tier three adds beetroot. Tier four adds carrot. And tier five is all crops. So that's quite useful. 
and I did go over this in my farming guide uh, a few weeks ago but basically uh, so enchant proc is basically like the enchants on your farmer's harvester like crop duster 5, greater farming 5, and farming souls it just increases the chance that it's activated. Move on to experienced armor this is mainly uh, I mean I guess you can use it for uh, killing mobs it's the main way of getting XP and it, you can also use it when it's scrapping books apparently no one uses that feature but it's there if you want it so the piece benefit is an XP multiplier and then set bonus doubles the XP when scrapping books which is I mean early game I guess it's okay but early game uh, you probably don't have uh, really the armor to do so uh, it only goes up to 2.5% chance or percent. Move on to Hasty. Not a great set. Um, this is mainly for MCMMO. I'll have a video on this probably next week, maybe next Tuesday, uh, for everything about MCMMO. Uh, so it is a MCMMO booster basically, and then it adds to the ability length, which is decent, especially if you're like mining or something. But if you're mining, you're going to want to be using the explosive armor. So, nothing too crazy about hasty. Then we got one of the most common dragons that spawns in, which is aquatic. This is mainly for fishing. Uh, it did get boosted or a buff this season. So, it gives uh, extra uses per bait and a chance to find the rarest fish type unlocked, which is quite good, especially if you have lava fishing unlocked and yeah it goes up to 10 extra uses per bait which is pretty decent uh but no one really fishes anymore defensive this is one of the better uh sets you'll want to use especially if if you're in d boss this is what you're going to want to use and it gives so the peace benefit is damage to mobs and bosses and set bonus is extra hearts while in the D-Boss arena, that's always two, it doesn't go up. And a chance for another summoning eye, so if we go, it goes up to 5% chance and then uh, an extra 40% damage to mobs and bosses uh, at max level, which is level five. It's good for dealing damage. Next we got Ancient, which is one of the rarest dragons. It gives a uh, bunch of sky coins multipliers when farming killing mobs and mining and an increase in souls by 20 percent at tier one sky coin multipliers go up to 0 0.25 0 0.3 and 0 0.35 uh, so pretty decent and then increases soul earning soul earnings by 100 percent which is good but i mean i guess you can use it in soul shop but that's not that's way too overpriced so I don't find the souls part useful anyway. Next we got champ armor, which is the best type you can get, especially if you're trying to get a bunch of money. Uh, so the peace benefit, no one really uses because it's not that useful. Uh, it's, well, it basically just has a chance to double. Uh... Oh wait, no. The peace benefit is what you want. That is a cell multiplier. The set bonus is what no one uses, and it's a chance to double drop anything mined and killed. So you can get up to a uh, 2x cell booster, which is very nice to have at level 5. Uh, once again, no one uses a set bonus. But those are all the different armories you can craft. We'll look into my PV4, and I guess we can craft aquatic because that's what we have a bunch of so we're going to do the boss craft and once again it's 10 per slot so if we do this ignore, ignore my epic crafting fail like this and we get 10 per slot as you can see we have aquatic dragon armor level one now to upgrade to level two place this in the middle and this goes for all and I think it's 20 per slot. I don't know if I have enough. And it just goes around it. Yeah, I'll have enough. No, will I? 
I, I won't. But anyway, you put 20 around this with the level 1 piece in the middle, and you'll get level 2 and so on and so forth. It gets slightly more expensive each time. You can also buy frags off of the auction house. You can search for them. Uh, you can also sort by price if you want to. We'll do a video on how to do that in the future. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that's everything about D-Boss. So we've went over pets, which is mainly Iron Golem, Cat, uh, Wither, Shulker, and Summoner Pet. Um, it is very nice to have all the pet slots unlocked. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. Uh, if I left anything out, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, please consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your day.